Welcome back to Instrumentation and Control. Today, we're going to look at the Essential Instrument Technician Toolkit. As instrument technicians, our tools are what allow us to carry out our role and solve the problems we need to solve. In this video, I'm going to recommend a toolkit that will cover us for 90% of our day-to-day -day jobs. There will always be those uncommon jobs that we need some specialized tools, but here we're going to go through a nice compact toolkit that you can carry around with you on site or in your van and be able to fix most of the issues you're likely to come across. Now, when it comes to tools, I generally recommend spending as much as you can afford on some quality tools that will last a lifetime, as replacing lesser quality tools over the years becomes more expensive in the long run, and you'll have a better experience with the tools that you use. I'm only recommending tools and equipment I've personally used and have gotten well with. Look down in the description for links to the tools I recommend. So let's get into it. Let's start with one of the most important pieces of equipment you will need as an instrument technician, a good process or multimeter. These are absolutely essential for any instrument technician for day-to-day -day work. Now, there are cheaper alternatives, but for a good quality piece of test equipment that will last years of use in the field, then Fluke has you covered. Whether you're testing the millivolts of a thermocouple, continuity of field cabling, testing voltage outputs of your power supplies, in AC or DC up to 1000 volts, the Fluke 789 is up to all of these tasks. The important distinction with this piece of test equipment over cheaper alternatives is its usefulness in carry out calibration. It has the ability to source or sync current loops for testing 4 to 20 milliamps and we can set up for auto stepping of your signals. Perfect if you're alone working on site. I've included a link to a much cheaper Fluke alternative if you don't need to source current loops and are just looking at basic diagnostic measurements. Okay, on to the next piece of equipment. If you're isolating electronic instrumentation, especially those powered by 240 or 110 volts, then you're going to need a proven unit in order to do isolations and testing for dead safely. I personally use a Martindale voltage indicator and proving unit. The next thing I have in my toolkit is a good quality set of screwdrivers. I like the Wearer Insulated set. It's nice and compact with most of the sizes you'll need with double handles and swappable drives at a great price. I've personally used these for the last five years or so and Wearer are my go-to brand for driver sets and a lot of other tools also. Next up, we have a quarter inch drive ratchet socket set. Now this isn't the cheapest item either, but a good set will last a lifetime and it's a brilliant investment. I use the Wera 42 piece socket set. This is great for removing junction box and instrumentation lids and fastenings and the ratchet feature really saves time. It also has a bit adapter with a good selection of Torx, flats and crosshead attachments. The pivot head on this set also allows you to work in tricky to reach spots. Okay, so every instrument tool set should contain at least two shifters or adjustable spanners. I love the soft grip Baco 8 inch adjustables with the reversible jaw. The reversible jaw gives you the ability to get purchase on any shafts or rounded bolts or screw heads. Adjustables also allow you to cut down on the amount of fixed size spanners you'll need. Great when you're looking at on-the-go toolkit. For times when you need a perfect fitting spanner, I love the Facum Combination Spanner Set with a tiltable ratchet head. A great piece of hardware that should again last a lifetime. Next up is a set of Wearer Stainless Steel Allen or Hex Keys. I'm honestly not sponsored by Wearer, but just love the quality of the tools that they produce. This set is perfect. Being stainless, it's going to last forever and not need as much maintenance, and the multicolored sleeving makes identifying the correct size really quick. I love the simple holder that gives a good grip level that stops your keys coming out in your tool bag. I've also included a link to the Imperial set, but unfortunately these don't have the colored sleeves in the stainless variant, but it's still a great set nonetheless. Next is a set of good quality insulated side cutters and I'm a big fan of Facum's offerings. Perfect for cutting signal cable cores or tie wraps. Try not to use these for cutting wire locks or anything else that will damage the blades and they should last years. Now, if you're going to be regularly making off braided cable, you're not going to want to use your nice side cutters. You'll soon blunt the blades and they'll become unusable and it's just a waste of money. I use a cheaper pair of point tip side cutters for tidying up braid that I can replace yearly. Okay, you'll often be working in awkward spaces and need to get hold of something or pull a signal cable through a freshly landed instrument. 
A quality pair of insulated long nose pliers at an angle are an absolute must. Again, I like Vacuum for the insulated versions. When you really need to get a grip of a piece of hardware and your long nose pliers aren't up to the task, some straight pliers will give you more leverage and a better grip. Once again, I like Vacuum. You need a hacksaw in your toolkit and for portable option I always use a junior hacksaw, perfect for cutting cable, as you might be when making cable glands off. You'll need a good solid crimping tool and I find the Widemuller bootlace ferrule crimping tool so ergonomic and just a great piece of kit. It's got a flawless mechanism, should last a lifetime. These are not the cheapest item. But again, you invest in your tools and they should give you years of service over a career. So, you, of course, you're going to need somewhere to put all of these tools. And I love the Plano Technician shoulder bags. And I've had these for the last few years. I can't find these being sold on Amazon, but a quick Google search should find you your local retailer. Other items that are worth noting are a decent hazardous area pocket torch for getting details off data plates and looking in panels and at terminal numbers. And some other basic consumables like insulation tape, PTFE tape, and of course tie wraps. Hopefully the above toolkit will allow you to complete most tasks. If you want more details of other tools I recommend for your bench or work van, then comment down below and I'll look at doing a similar video for those types of tools. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching.